Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, Across the Spider-Verse is coming out in a week or so, depending on when this video comes out. And to celebrate, I decided we're gonna put this little video out as soon as possible. I have yet to purchase a single Funko Pop from Across the Spider-Verse. I have not picked up any of the comments, nothing. I have another Spider-Man. Funko line to be focusing on. No Way Home, another piece of the Final Battle series, the Statue of Liberty set, has arrived. Now, I'm aware that in the States, in Target, Sandman is currently out. However, Electro is still not released yet. Another piece is currently out. It's on pre-order for Target, but I managed to get it once again. And it is right here, thanks to our pals at Pop Culture Collectibles, which of course is an Australia-based pop culture store that sells Funko Pops and a bunch of other things, and it was because of them I was able to get my Electro and Sandman piece. Go watch that video if you haven't. The Statue of Liberty is currently still incomplete. We still have two more pieces that are yet to be announced. Green Goblin and Andrew Garfield. This one is another piece. Which piece could it possibly be? Let me show you. Here it is. It looks good. Two weeks ago, I sat in a room and I saw this pop up on the pop culture site and I immediately grabbed my credit card, rushed over to my laptop and ordered it. This is the Friendly Neighborhood Spider-Man piece for the set, aka Tobey Maguire. Another new piece to add to the set. So currently we are five down, three more to go. So the one that's coming out after this is going to be Doc Ock. All right, I'm gonna do something a little bit different, something I didn't do when we did the first four pieces of the Final Battle set. And that is, of course, to assemble it on camera. Obviously, we have our first piece, which is Tom Holland Spider-Man right here. And then we have the Loser, which came shortly after. And then also, I got Sandman and Electra, which stack on top of each other perfectly. Sandman, probably the biggest piece of the set here. Here is Electro from last time, which obviously is still on pre-order, but it'll probably come out soon. To put them on, you simply just slap them on. There's a connector piece like that that holds it all together. And there we go. Now he's not securely tight, he's not Lego, that's for sure, but he is secured on it, so he's not gonna fall off. Okay, now we have the Tobey Maguire piece. Let's take it out of this, out of this box. Wow, the second Spider-Man, and it just all connects together like that beautifully. I am so glad that he is in the standing pose instead of the sitting pose that we first saw when it first leaked, because that would, would not be bad, but it would be a little bit disappointing because you see everyone fighting and then you just, you just get Toby just sitting there just chilling. Like, it doesn't really fit the theme of what's going on in this set, so I'm glad that they actually fixed it in a way. Just like this. So this is what the top of the crown looks like. Toby and Tom and Andrew unfortunately will be at the bottom. So no, you cannot recreate the iconic scene where all three of them are in their poses on top of the crown during the final fight. As disappointing as it is, I can understand why Funko had to do this. The Andrew Garfield piece is the last piece that's coming out. So that's gonna take a while until I can actually like put them all together and now where he actually goes is right on top of the lizard piece. Just like Electro on top of Sandman, I can put Tobey Maguire right on top of the lizard here. So, slap that on. There we go. Just goes on like that. Yeah, look at that. So it'll sit like this and then Andrew Garfield's piece will be right underneath. So obviously, can't do that at the moment. That piece is not even announced yet. Yeah, happy days. As I mentioned earlier, this is still on pre-order for Target. And the pre-orders have sold out. I took a look at the Target website. It has been sold out. Even the Electro pre-order is still available. That's how crazy this piece is gonna be. But thanks to Pop Culture, they sent this overseas from Australia to Canada. 
I'll gladly take it. Obviously, we have Doc Ock, who has been officially announced. He has just yet to be released yet. He's not available for pre-order yet on Target, I don't think so, at least not yet. He's just been announced that he is coming next. All right, and just a little update on what it looks like on the shelf. So obviously now, this is gonna look awkward until the Andrew Garfield piece comes. Then the Tom Holland can sit on top right next to the Tobey Maguire. That aside, there is your update on what it looks like on the shelf. I only hope Funko can actually pacing up the speed a little bit and put out the last three pieces. If you're excited as I am to get the Doc Ock and to complete this set overall, make sure to hit that like button and subscribe to the channel. Thank you for watching. We'll see you in the next one. Peace!